In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this watercolor effect in Photoshop. After this tutorial, you will be able to create your own watercolor effect PSD file. And with that file, you will be able to reapply the same effect on any new image with a single click. You can also use this effect to make your own portraits, or even make your own posters to be printed like that. Please like the video and let's get started. Let's start by creating a new document. Change width to 3000 pixels, height to 2000 pixels with 300 resolution and RGB color mode, then click Create. Now go to File, Place Embedded to import your image. Select your image and click Place. Resize your image as you want and make sure that it's filling the canvas, then press Enter. Now press Ctrl and A to select the whole canvas. And with your layer selected, go and create a mask out of your selection. I will explain why we're using this mask later. Now let's import the watercolor texture. Just press Enter to confirm without changing its ratio. I made this texture to add some extra details to the final effect. You can download it from the description below. With the texture layer selected, go and change its blending mode to Overlay with 40% opacity. Select both layers while holding the control key. Then right click and choose convert to smart object. Rename it as you want and let's apply some filters to it. Now with your layer selected, go to filter and choose filter gallery. Under the artistic folder, choose the cutout filter. Change its values to eight, five and two. Then click OK. Now double click on this little icon to open the cutout filter layer style. Decrease the filter's opacity to 35% then click OK. Again, with your layer selected, go to the filter gallery. Choose the sponge filter. Change its values to 0, 0 and 15. Then click OK. Open its blending options as previously. Change the opacity to 50% and click OK. Open the filter gallery again. This time choose the palette knife filter. Change its values to 3, 3 and 10. Then click OK. Now let's apply the oil paint filter to make it smoother. Just select your layer and go to filter, stylize, oil paint. In the older version of Photoshop, you'll find it right here. Now let's apply it. Change it to 3, 10, 0.1, 0 and uncheck lighting. Then click OK. If your oil paint filter is missing or doesn't work, please check this video description. Now let's open the filter gallery for the last time. But this time choose the dry brush filter. Change it to 3, 10 and 1. Then click OK. Finally, let's apply the last filter which is the Unsharp Mask filter. Change amount to 90% with 3 pixel radius and 0 threshold. Then click OK. And here is the result. But before moving to the next step, let's talk about our today's sponsor. Skillshare is a huge online learning platform with thousands of premium classes for all creative and curious people. They have thousands of inspiring classes about graphic design, photography, illustration, filmmaking, freelancing, and much more. They offer almost 3,000 classes about Photoshop only. One class that I really like is the Photoshop Advanced Training Course from Daniel Scott. He has almost 14 hours of premium content for this class only. Unlike YouTube, Skillshare is 100% free of ads so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And for the first 1,000 people who join Skillshare from the link in my description, we'll get a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Join Skillshare to boost your creativity today. Now let's get back to our tutorial. In this step, we will add an extra texture, border and some adjustment layers. First, let's import the border image. You can download it from the description below. Make sure that it is imported on the top like that. 
Then go to the Select menu and choose Color Range. Change Select to Sample Colors and with the eyedropper tool, pick the white color like that. Increase fuzziness to 200 and uncheck Invert, then click OK. This will make a selection around the white color like that. Now select your effect layer, then create a mask out of your selection. Select the border layer and delete it with the delete key. As you can see, whatever is black in the mask is now hidden from our image, and whatever is white in the mask is visible in the image like that. Now let's add a solid color below our layer. This is to change the border color as you want. I will choose a light gray color like this, then click OK. Rename it as you like, then delete the background layer with the delete key. Now select the top layer and let's import the textured image. You can download it from the description below. Just rotate it and scale it up to fill the canvas, then press Enter. Change its blending mode to multiply. As you can see, this texture adds that paper effect to our final effect like that. Finally, let's add some adjustment layers. First, add a curves layer, then move the graph from both ends like that. This is to make our image bright again. Now let's add a selective colors layer. I usually use the adjustment layer to adjust only whites, neutrals and black colors. Let's add the color lookup adjustment layer. As you can see, this will enrich the colors of your final effect. But it is too much. I will decrease its opacity to 50%. You can select all four layers by holding the shift key, then group them. Now let's test our final effect and update it completely with a single click. Just double click on the smart object thumbnail to open it. Select the bottom layer and import your new image below the texture layer. Press enter after filling the canvas with your image. And now press Ctrl and S to update the smart object. Get back to your main document. And here is the final effect. You can see how detailed it is with this amazing texture and colors. I really like the result. Now let's have another example. Open the smart object by double clicking it. Import your image under the texture layer. Resize it as you like, then press Enter. Press Ctrl and S to update it. Get back to your main document. And that's it for today. Please like the video and subscribe for more free tutorials. Thanks for watching.